Because of the length of our boats, you don't have to wear a life vest. Here comes a good one. Significant tilt in the layers of rock as well. That's not the ginger tablets making you uh, lose your mind. That's uh, an example of how much pressure this rock was under after it had formed. Like a big slab has shifted and uh, uh, tilted the layers, and against the surface of the water, it looks like pretty unusual happening. That's one we're usually going. Waterfall Bay was our next stop. It is quite possible to have a refreshing drink or fill your water bottle from the cool, clean water that tumbles down the cliffs. Yeah. 
No matter how careful a climber you are, you might get a rock fall on your shoulder and, you know, break a shoulder blade or something like that. The anchor holds and Mendel makes the ledge, followed over by Glenn and Les. And while Mendel and Glenn wait on the first ledge, Les moves out on the second pitch, a narrow chimney in the rock leaning slightly away from the vertical. Candlestick. They've made it. The candlestick's been beaten. Tired and bruised with muscles feeling like jelly, they're finally on top. As Lorry paddled between the totem pole and candlestick, a larger than usual wave appeared behind him and started to break. As he surfed down the wave, I realised I was likely to cop a face full of kayak, but there was little I could do in the few seconds before Lorry skillfully swept past, just glancing off the rear of my kayak. Squid swimming along ahead of them leaves turbulence behind, and the seals can feel out that turbulence and sort of track their prey down. A bit like a jumping ready for the wind.
Why?
much as soon as helicopters were widely available, that's when a lot of the remote stations were automated. Today it's just a bank of batteries and solar panels that keep the light flashing at night. Steady that you climb up into the basket, it was like a big cane basket you climbed into with the massive foam life jacket was born. The headlight housekeeper, he was in charge of the landing. People died using this structure during maintenance. So uh, three serious affairs here at Tasman Island. The friends of Tasman Island and the volunteer group sort of on the history of the island today, it maintains their houses up on top as well. They fly out the national parks a couple of times a year and look after the homes. The heritage value of home the The homes are amazing up on top. It's like a bit of farmland up there. I've actually, <laughs> land, I've actually landed on there. So the that's sea. the landing and yeah. this is where the, the cable kind. was attached. You could see that bit of concrete and steel on the little, little island here. So that's where the cable where was the cable strung went. across to. So you landed that we, landed, we landed by a sea kayak and climbed up the haulage way. Oh. The very highest point, you see someone standing there. They might have moved, but keep an eye on it. Lighthouse ship on its quarterly cruise heaves to off Cape Pillar on Tasman Island. These mighty crags tower 1,000 feet above the surging ocean. The ship's boat reaches the flying bridge, the only method by which supplies can be taken ashore on this savage coast, where the rocks are so steep that no landing stage can be built. It may be calm but danger still exists, and excitement runs high. The cable supporting the flying fox is fixed to a rock lying 20 yards off Tasman. The head keeper, Dennis Smith, controls the landing. It's a tricky job to coordinate a twisting cage and a tossing boat. The dream comes true, and our jubilant party has made it. However, the weather is still uncertain, and getting off may be a problem. Just in case, we carried food for a week. All aboard the Tasman Island tram. Going up, second floor, top of the island. Below is Anchor Rock where the 180 foot long flying fox cable is fixed. The trolley system works on a counterbalance principle with one up and one down. The Big Dipper has nothing on this. Many years ago, a cable actually broke, letting a trolley plunge to the bottom. The thought tends to linger.
across Tasman Passage is Cape Pillar with the highest sea cliffs in Australia. It's a long climb up there.
you for coming along, spending your money and joining us this morning. So we really appreciate it. And if you use social media, we've got our tag written here on the console. We love you to step up onto the jetty. So whenever you're ready with the jackets, if you can do that, please. This is the after shot. <laughs> All that hard work we've done rowing that boat around Tasman. <laughs>